So I did have a much different video plan for this, but uh, weather has seen fit to rob me of such video. Uh, but here we are. Uh, it was all to give my opinion on the Skywatcher Star Adventure GTI mount, which is not new by now. It's about six months old, but I've been waiting on one. So suffice to say, I like it. Um, and I was going to show you some pictures, and I've only got one of the three pictures I was going to show you. Show you. Well, one and a half. Um, the plan was to spend at least five hours on three different targets a piece, preferably more, uh, shooting the North American Nebula, the Andromeda Galaxy, and the California Nebula. And that didn't pan out. Both, uh, well, all three nights that I went to shoot the North American Nebula, the clouds dispersed after the North American Nebula had set into the light dome of the next city over, and I couldn't see it least well enough to photograph. Next up was the Andromeda Galaxy, which I was going to use and photograph uh, using my Rokinon Samyang 135mm uh, f2.0 lens with my newest camera, which is the Canon EOS R, uh, my first full frame camera. And I just, just, you know, broadband target. It doesn't have, it's not Astro modified, so it's fine. But I was only able to get about two hours of the seven-ish hours I spent trying to shoot it. And that was me giving up some hours then. Um, but I did manage to scoop together about five hours of time on the California Nebula, uh, which was shot using my uh, older uh, Astro Modified that I did several years ago. I modified it myself, the Canon 1200D. Uh, which is a uh, APS-C uh, DSLR. So, uh, we got two images to show you. The first being the failed picture on the first picture on my EOS R, but it, I don't know if it's just how I try, was trying to remove so much of the light from the picture. I don't know how it worked out, but it's got this weird like stained glass look to it. And I don't know near enough about astrophotography to have a clue as to what I, I did or what happened. But it looks neat. It's not a particularly great picture, but um, looks pretty cool. So I at least saved the picture. But it only, it was m maybe two hours. Um, I was doing the, the old uh, combining different exposure lengths. So I shot uh, a little bit, probably a little over an hour of two minute shots of which I was only able to use about 20 minutes worth. The line share was with 60 second shots, which was most of the, the integration time of most of the two hour integration time. And I got maybe 15, 30 second shots that were usable. Um, but I was trying to, you know, use the longer shots to uh, bring out the nebulosity in the outer parts of the, the galaxy and then use the, the lower exposures to bring out the, the detail on the core. But I just, it's not enough. The picture effect is kind of neat, but it's not anything I would write home about. Um, but the California Nebula turned out pretty good. So this is a failed video. I may come back and try to redo an evaluation of the Skywatcher mount. Um, so far it's been worked well. Um, it's a bit noisy but you know, what can you expect um doesn't seem to be as sturdy it's just got it's got more plastic than the skywatcher star adventure 2i which i've come to love so um but it overall works it works well my my plan for the, the north american nebula was to use my bigger refractor uh the zenith star 61 APO uh, to shoot the North American Nebula and uh, kind of test the upper limits of what the weight, not the upper limits, but the, the upper range of what the, the mount can handle. Um, happy to report it balanced fine, both in RA and declination. I just couldn't use it. 
because clouds. But with my uh, uh, Rokinon Samyang uh, lens, it did just fine. No issues. I didn't have one take that I couldn't use uh, due to star trailing. It was on the money every time. Dithered fine. It was perfect. I have no complaints whatsoever. So maybe that video will come, but I'll quit talking. And um, here's my uh, picture of the California Nebula taken on my Rokinon or Samyang uh, 135 millimeter. I shot this at F2. Um, didn't think the stars uh, being soft would be an issue. And it wasn't really nothing picks in sight couldn't take care of. And uh, of the plan 10 hours or so I was going to spend on it, I got an exact five hours of integration time. So hope you enjoy and we'll see you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.